So are you ready to scale your Google Ads campaign? But before you go about increasing your daily budget in your Google Ads campaign so that you can scale your results, you need to go through and check two things. Firstly, your Google Ads account is actually ready to be scaled. And secondly, you wanna make sure that you scale your Google Ads account in the correct way. But I wanna make one thing very, very clear. And that is that as long as your daily budget is 10 times more than the average CPC, so that your Google Ads account is getting in between 10 to 20 clicks per day, is that increase Increasing your Google Ads budget will not increase the performance of your conversion rates or your cost per conversions for your Google Ads account. So if you are currently spending $50 a day and getting no sales or leads, by increasing your budget to $100 a day, all you're gonna be doing now is paying $100 a day for no sales and no leads. So if you're currently being told that your Google Ads account performance will increase just by increasing your budget, you need to run. Run very far away because you're speaking to someone who has no idea about how Google Ads works and how to increase the performance of your campaign. If we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And this is where I share with you all of my successful strategies that will help Google Ads grow your business. And the reason for why I know that these strategies will work is because I've tested them since 2010 on large campaigns and small campaigns for business businesses like this. So if you want to know how you can use Google Ads to grow your own business, why don't you give me a quick subscribe right now. Thank you very much. When do you know that your Google Ads account is ready to be scaled? Now this will be different for every business, but the core principle is, is that your Google Ads account is ready to be scaled when you are happy with your conversion metrics. So if you're running a service-based industry and you're wanting to increase your sales and inquiries, the first metric that you need to look at is your cost per conversion. And this is the metric which is letting you know exactly how much you're paying for each and every conversion action. So in this case, it lets you know how much it's costing you for every single phone call, email inquiry or form submission. So for example, if you're running a service-based business and you're wanting to increase your calls and inquiries and you know that every single call and inquiry is worth around $200 to $500 for your business, you may be happy with a cost per conversion between $10 to $25. On the other hand, I have a campaign that I'm currently running and they're happy with acquisition costs between $350 to $500 and that's because every successful inquiry leads to over $100,000 in revenue for their business. But if you're running an e-commerce store where you're focused on selling products, the metric that you want to focus on is your conversion value cost. And this metric measures your ROAS or your return on your ad spend. So in Google Ads, if you're seeing that you've got a conversion value cost of nine, that means that for every dollar you're spending on Google Ads marketing, you're actually generating $9 of revenue. And once again, this will depend on your own business, depending on your production costs, or your business operating expenses. So to know whether you're ready to scale your Google Ads budget, the first thing that you need to be looking at is making sure that you're happy with those cost per conversion metrics or the conversion value cost metric. And once you're happy with that metric, the next most important metric that you need to go and look at is your search impression share. And this metric lets you know what percentage of available searches your ads are appearing on. So if you have a search impression share of 15%, this lets you know that your ads are appearing on every 15 out of 100 related searches. And in my experience in running Google Ads campaigns since 2010, when you start to scale a Google Ads account that has a search impression share of under 65%, 99% of the time, you will actually start to see increased results matching those same conversion acquisition costs. Meaning that if you are currently running on a budget of $100 a day, and getting 10 conversions, by increasing your budget to $120 a day, you would then start getting around 12 conversions. So your cost per conversion is staying the same at $10. It's just now that you're getting more conversions because you're now spending more budget in Google Ads. But you may ask, why 65%? Why is it important to check to make sure that your search impression share is under 65%? You have to remember that the 100% figure that Google is giving you covers all of the related search keywords that your ads could appear for. Not necessarily the keywords that we want our ads to actually appear for, as these are the keywords which are actually gonna generate more sales and conversions. And the way that the Google algorithm works, if it has more budget to spend, it'll first target those most highly converting keywords, and then it'll start moving out into other audiences and keyword themes so that it can spend your daily budget. Now let's go and have a look at an illustration of what I mean by this. So if this total circle represents the 100% of related keywords that Google is giving you, you can look at it like this, that in this core, this is the targeted keywords which we know are gonna be providing us the most conversions. And then we go out to this next band which is the similar keywords 
and then moving out even further to your related keywords. So for example, if you were targeting products selling men's cotton shirts, of the 100%, 50% of those keywords may be variations of men's cotton shirts. But then when we move out a little bit further, there may be around about 25% of those search terms which are actually not as targeted and they're all about cotton t-shirts. And then moving out even further, there may be another market which is talking about shirts. So as you can see here, as you move further out, yes, these search terms are still related to the theme of men's cotton shirts, but because they're not as highly targeted, you run the risk of increasing your conversion acquisition costs because the initial search terms and the users aren't specifically looking for the product or the service that you are selling. And that is why you need to take extra caution if you want to scale your Google Ads budget, but you have a search impression share of above 65%. So right now, if you find yourself in the position where you're happy with your conversion values, either that's your cost per conversion or your conversion value cost, and you've got that search impression share of under 65%, meaning that there's extra room for you to grow in your core related search terms, I wanna now talk about how to correctly scale your Google Ads budgets. Because it is very important that when you go about scaling your Google Ads campaigns, that you actually do this in the correct way. So the first thing is, is that when you go about increasing your Google Ads budget, you wanna make sure that you're not doing any other drastic changes at the same time. And what I mean by that is that you're not changing your landing pages, you're not drastically changing your ad copy or the keywords that you're targeting. And the reason for that is because if you go and make some other significant changes further than just changing your budget, it'll be harder to gauge what is actually making the positive or negative changes. Did your conversions increase because you increased your budget or did they increase because you've got a new landing page? Or in the other instance, did the performance of your campaign reduce because of the increased budget or because of the new ad copy and landing pages? And that's why it's best to, when you're actually looking to increase your campaign budgets, that you don't make any other significant changes around the same time. And the other important thing you need to do is when you increase your budget, is that you don't increase your budget by more than 20% at a time. And the reason for this is that if you drastically increase your Google Ads campaign budget, you run the risk of your Google Ads campaign going back into another learning phase. And when a campaign goes into this learning phase, it means that Google will start testing some different keywords themes, audiences, and demographics to try and find the best performing targets. So if you want to increase your budget by say like 80%, rather than increasing your budget by 80% in one go, you're better off to just increase your budget by 20%, and then wait five to seven days so that you can see the initial results. And if you see a positive result in that you're getting an extra 20% of conversions for that extra 20% in budget spend, you can then go about increasing your budget by another 20%. And then you run through those checks again and you continue that process until you've reached your desired campaign budget. So right now, let's look at a good example and bad example of scaling your Google Ads campaigns. In this positive example, so a good example, this campaign had its budget scarred by around about 15 and you can see through here is that the clicks actually increased, the cost per conversion actually slightly improved, and then there was actually an increase in the number of conversions. And this is the exact positive results that you're wanting to see, is that you're wanting to see a positive correlation in that by increasing your budget, you are seeing an increase in conversions. And in this case, we even saw an increase in conversions at a reduced acquisition cost. So this is the perfect example of what you wanna see when you're scaling your Google Ads budget. Now let's look at a bad example where this was not done. Now in this example, this budget was increased by 50% in one go. And you can actually see here, they only saw a slight increase in their clicks, but they saw a massive increase in their acquisition costs, which actually went up by $18 and they saw a total reduction in the number of conversions. And in this example, no other changes were made except for that budget being increased by 50%. And this is a perfect example of what can happen when a Google Ads account goes back into a learning phase and it starts to target new keywords and audiences because it just doesn't know what to do with this massive increase in budget. Now for this campaign, I have no doubt that the performance will actually increase and Google will get its targeting correct again. However, if this campaign had have gone around by increasing the budget in lots of 20% over a period of four to six weeks, they would have actually got a lot more positive results and they wouldn't have seen this drop in this conversions or an increase in acquisition costs 
for a period of two to three weeks. So before you go about scaling your Google Ads account, you need to make sure that you're firstly happy with your conversion metrics, so your cost per conversion or your conversion value cost. Also check your search impression share to make sure that it's underneath that 65% mark. And then finally, when you are ready to start scaling your Google Ads account, make sure that you have a solid plan that you're only increasing that budget in increments of 20% every five to seven days. And finally, as I said at the start of this video, is that increasing your budgets in Google Ads campaign won't turn a bad campaign into a great money-making campaign. In order to do that, you need to have a proper optimization strategy where you know exactly what you're gonna be optimizing in your Google Ads account every day, every week, and every month. And that's why I've put together a free resource for you, which is my Google Ads Optimization Checklist. Now this is a checklist that I still use every single day and I put it together so that I have a schedule so that I know exactly what I need to optimize because some things like your search terms you need to be optimizing every week whereas other items like your bidding strategies don't need to be optimized until every 60 or 90 days. So if you wanna get your free copy of my Google Ads optimization checklist, why don't you follow the link in the description below? And to help you even further so that you can optimize your Google Ads account so you can increase your results rapidly, I want you to go through and check this video right here where I share the single greatest tip that I use for optimizing my Google Ads campaigns. Once again, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure to have you and I look forward to seeing you on our next training video.